right? This is replacement for screens.com for the MacBook model A1181. Just take the battery out, move that L bracket in the battery compartment. There's three screws for that. And then you remove all the other screws inside the battery compartment around inside there, except for the two on either side of the, uh, where the battery actually connects. Make sure you label all of your screws so you know exactly where they need to go. I put mine in separate little plastic baggies and mark them. Next, you take the three screws off the bottom of the laptop. And whenever you're taking screws out, make sure you note where the longer ones go and where the shorter ones go. After you get those three out, take the four out from the back. You're going to take all the screws around the sides out. Should be four. Okay, the keyboard should come out now. Be very careful. Unplug it. The plug will just pull straight up off of the motherboard. Then on either side, uh, at the bottom of the monitor, there are two kind of little brackets. Um, one of them has three screws and the other one has two. You're going to take those out, basically mount the screen to the actual uh, laptop. So you take those brackets out as well. Then pop something in the little border for the screen to get one of those clips undone. And then they're just little clips. Go around the edge carefully so you don't break them. And take that border off. Next, you're gonna take that white piece of plastic with three screws at the bottom out. It holds the inverter cable. Remember how that goes in there exactly because it's kind of a pain to get back in. Pull that off and that exposes the inverter cable which you're going to unplug. You're going to unplug that little white plug on the side there. It's kind of a pain as well. Just be careful with that. All right, then you're going to actually unscrew the LCD panel from the computer. There's just screws right around. You can see the metal frame kind of holds it in there. Just undo all those screws, except for the two tiny screws on either side of the eyesight. I need to take those out. And that should come out. Hold it down. And then that little metal frame around the panel, there's screws sticking in all sides of it. Um, just carefully take all those screws out. Once you get all those screws out, that border should come off. I left the um, eyesight plugged in just because it was easier. I didn't want to break it. So undo all those screws on the sides and the top. And 
carefully peel that tape away. thing you're going to need to do once you peel that tape away is actually unplug the screen from the computer and then you can just kind of tape that out of the way and that's it for removal new screen plug it in and then screw that frame on around the panel Try to kind of, once you get that all screwed in, kind of try to tape and secure those cables back to the back of the new panel. Make sure everything's in place where it should be so that I can lay flat up against the plastic case. tape if you need to. And put the screen back on the computer and install with all the screws. Also while you're taking it apart, kind of note where the wiring is. because You don't want any of the wiring to get pinched by anything that you're reinstalling. Um, plug the actual panel in, back into the inverter, the inverter cable in, then put that little plastic piece on there. The three screws. Make sure you note where you're routing that uh, little wire for the inverter cable. Then you put those two little brackets on either side of that uh, white plastic piece that covers the inverter cable. Um, those little mounting brackets for the actual clamshell. Next comes the keyboard. You're going to want to plug that in straight down onto the motherboard. And when you're putting the keyboard back in, the right side you're going to have to slide in first. So kind of push it down and slide it in. And then the other side should snap down into place too. Screw in the sides. Secure that keyboard into place. Now that little border that goes back on there, that white border, I removed all the clips from it and put the clips on the actual um, computer and then put it on that way because it was pretty difficult trying to install it with the clips on the border piece itself. Just gotta be careful not to break those clips. Okay, make sure that it opens and closes as it should. Screw the four screws in the back. And the three screws on the bottom. Then install all the screws that go in the battery compartment. Once you get all those installed, then you'll reinstall that little L bracket that covers the memory slots. Three screws there. Then you can install your battery and you should have a new working screen.